Welcome to Angels Talk, Soul Relationships. It is Earth Week this week, too. Yeah, Earth Day was the 22nd. Last week? Was it? Oh, okay, okay, so what are we looking at here? Sunday, a week ago. This is the Sandra. Meditation and Lambreth Walk. A smaller this is scale. The Lambreth. In your own words, what does the labyrinth mean to you? labyrinth mean to you? A maze to life. Okay. Marlene, yes. what does labyrinth mean to you? I have no idea. I mean, I know it's a maze, but meditation and walk. We're going to find out from others. They can help us figure out the pieces of the puzzles. Lane. Do you want it on? Sure. It was just blowing in the wind. Elaine, thanks for stopping by. Well, you're welcome. You're taking your time to stop, look, and listen. What's before you here? This is a labyrinth that is at Maycross Conference, and we're here for a women's conference, and the, the young ladies that are out there are working their way through the labyrinth, either as for meditation or just for exercise. It could be either one. I think some had a little half and half, mm -hmm. but it's a beautiful, beautiful day for it. Are you planning to go in there? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I just really wanted to come out to kind of relax and get some air in, but it looks interesting. Looks like there's a few wonderful angels coming out. And um, I want to be respectful of their sacredness. So let's pause for a moment, okay? Okay. What did you just say, Donna? You just came out of the labyrinth. When I said that sometimes um, it's easy for me to forget that each piece of work I do for myself and each healing that I take in myself is not only for me, but it's for the world and the whole universe is affected by my growing. Is that the truth? Yes, it is. We know that, don't we? Yes. We know the truth about one another as we continue to come together. Yes. Mm. I just keep breathing and breathing and breathing. And I have a new face over here, Donna. I don't know this young lady. And my name's Carmen. Carmen, Hi. would you mind if I took your you, picture? You've never met Carmen? Carmen's, I've never met Carmen? Carmen's Jen's friend. Our parents and Jen's parents live on the same farm. Yeah. I heard all about you. I heard you were coming here. Oh, yeah. I'm so honored to be in your presence. Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> I did. I heard that you were coming from the farm. No, I, I live in Indianapolis. You, but my parents live on the farm with her parents. Yeah. Ah, now that's a... So they're good buddies for a long time. Jen I see. Oh, really? Yeah. She says, well, um, Carmen used to babysit me. But she was like seven and I was eleven. So it was like no great big she makes it sound like, you know, I was so much older. She's just a baby though. Yeah. So what do you think of the experience of the labyrinth? What I think about it was it reminded me when I was taking it, sorta of like if you let God's will if you do, you know, just let God's will be done, it guides you over there. Like I was, you, the path was already made for me. I didn't have to choose. And some corners were long, some corners were short. Sometimes I even stopped, you know, stumbled a little bit. And sometimes there was, you know, I saw little flowers and stuff. And it was just reminding me of life, you know. And just, if you let God's will, then, you know, you can just, just go on through and do what, what's, right in front of you and you don't have to worry about it. I didn't even get to the middle. I didn't even care. It was just going through. So that's what it meant to me. Was that your first experience in the labyrinth? Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. Really? Have you done it? Yes, I have. I have done it at the, um, on the grounds of Unity Village in Kansas City. Oh, really? Yeah. I've never been there. So. What do you think about the empowering women's retreat here today. What do you think overall about the retreat? Oh, I love it. I've never been anything like this. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So what what expectations did you have? I so tried far? not to have any. I really? tried not to have any because I find that, that you know, that it's kind of a core to my disease, you know. I get high expectations and I don't measure up and I, I don't act right. <laughs> so I try not to have any. 
So what would so far we we've, we've spent one night here, and we're in the middle of a few. We've had some workshops and and what else have we done? We've made collages. Yeah. Made friends ate a lot. <laughs> ate too much. And uh, I guess we're having the fire tonight. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna make sure I bring the camera to the fire yes. tonight. Do you think this that this experience is is um is calling from the world? The other the do you think that this is an experience that we should share with the other parts of the world? Oh yes. I think so. Yeah. yeah. It'd be nice. Oh. If everybody was willing to do it. Mm -hmm. If there's even, more opportunities, but even yeah. just come together for one second, that energy. That'd be great. <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing. Yeah. Truly, you are an angels in my eyes, uh, and I look forward to having so much more fun. Just fun, just life, live, happiness. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? That right there is where the fire's going to be. There. The fire. You, you can stand up. You can see like there's a circle in the middle where the campfire's going to be. Well, maybe, would you mind walking over there with me? Let's and we'll go. just go see. No, that's not a campfire. <laughs> Wait, there's this. That looks like, that looks like uh, the other campground. Look, there's, oh, I feel like we're sneaking up or something. No. She said she, said she came here last year and that's where they had this. Oh, oh, yeah. See the fire in the middle? Yeah. And we can all sit on chairs and we're supposed to bring, did, did you bring a drum? No. I didn't bring. bring a drum? Yeah, we're doing drumming. Did you bring a drum? No, hopefully I can borrow one. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Birds are happy, aren't they? What'd you say? I said I would be too if I was a bird here. <laughs> here. Hello up there. Hello. You look like queens up there. Are. You are. are you would you mind if I came up and got a quick statement from you? Short statement. Okay. Well, I swear. Okay. Give it just a moment. Okay, thanks. But before I was in it, Only on another episode of Angels Talk in our soul relationships. Going back to the room. Hey, would you look at that? Oak wing.